Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about canning or preserving or hermetizing in Norwegian. You don't need much. Um, right now I am making pear butter and I'm heating up the pears and stirring to make sure that it doesn't get um, stick to the bottom. And I'm recycling old jars here. Uh, you want the jars to be the same temperature as the thing that you're putting inside because then that helps create the vacuum which then helps keep it tight so that the oxygen doesn't come in. Traditionally, we would use glass jars like this and you have you fill the ingredients again and then you have a glass lid and you put a rubber sealer around that to help keep it airtight. You put it on top of the jar and then you put a metal lid on top. This also creates a seal. When you're using a jar or reusing a jar, it has a little bubble on the top. And when the liquid inside is hot and the jar is hot, it creates a vacuum. And when this little bubble goes down, then you know that's um, sealed tightly. I have a couple of tools I really like. This is a jar grabber. I'm sure it has an official title. And you can just pick up a jar out of the hot water. And this is a special kind of funnel that you can use and as you can see it's wide enough so that you can put it on top of the jar and fill without making a mess. Today I'm following an American recipe and it is called pear butter and you can see that it calls for pounds and it calls for cups and it calls for pints and quarts actually and so I had to do a little translating. It comes from this book, The Ball Blue Book of Preserving. And again, hermetizering or hermetizering or canning is a traditional way of preserving food when you don't have a freezer. So I hope that was interesting for you and give it a try. There's nothing like knowing some of the old kitchen tricks or cooking tricks because that will only benefit you in the future. And some of those old ways are coming back again. And it is an exciting thing to go to your cupboards in the middle of February and take something that you've preserved yourself. There are many very fancy restaurants now that are going back to some of those old ways of preserving food. So who knows, maybe that will be your job if you become a cook somewhere in the future.